Look, I think first and foremost, Alton is a very well-known South African brand. You know, it's been around for over 59 years. I don't think you can be a South African, certainly not in the technology industry, and not know who Alton is. Nedstar is a household brand, and I've been a Nedstar customer, I think, for probably over 20 years before I joined the Alton group. What was really, really fascinating for me is that I felt that Alton is the best kept secret in the market. And, and I think what a lot of people don't realize is the, not only the impact that we make to society and the economy, but to your daily life. So if I can bore you for you know, a couple of minutes just around my daily routine and how that's enabled and impacted by Alton. Uh, I wake up in the morning, uh, you know, first order of business is taking my daughter to school. You know, something as simple as opening my garage door to be able to drive out of my garage is enabled through components that are supplied by, by Arrow. Uh, our safety, uh, our personal safety, the tracking of the vehicle is then in, insured by, by NetStar as I drop her off. From that, my next stop is the biokineticist. Uh, I'm currently in rehab post neck surgery. That appointment was made through our health tech uh, practice management software. The payment of that appointment through my medical aid to her is facilitated through our healthcare switch. As I arrived at the gates for my appointment, I take out uh, my smart ID to be able to access the building and that smart ID card is printed by Alton uh, and my biometrics are encrypted on that card through the Alton security business. And then before my day even starts, if I'm lucky and I've got some time, I quickly rush to my favorite coffee shop, which is just around the, the corner. And then I'm really proud to see that the payment thereof is facilitated by Alton Fintech, by one of our past terminals. So that's, you know, it's just incredible. And that's only eight o'clock uh, in the morning, you know? So, so I really saw this business that has such a multifaceted impact, uh, you know? And I think there's a real opportunity for us to make an impact on, you know, growing the South African economy. We make a real impact on consumers. We make a real impact on business. And I don't think there's a lot of businesses uh, that, that do that. You know, I then also looked at two of the biggest businesses, NetStar and ASI. Uh, and they were underperforming relative to the brand strength that they have and the competencies they have. So and I think as a leader, you're always trying to make, trying to make a difference. Uh, I, I looked at that and I felt, look, I can make a difference to this business. Uh, you know, I'm only the fourth CEO in 59 years. You know, I just think that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So, so I jumped at it. Beyond the expectations that I had of the business when I saw this once in a lifetime opportunity, when I got into the business, what really, really excited me is firstly, you know, the solutions that we have in the market spaces that we're in was reinforced for me. What I suppose maybe pleasantly surprised me is, you know, I had assumed that Elton, because of you know, what I spoke about early on, would have a blue chip customer base, but I was really amazed by the breadth of that customer base. You know, I don't think there's a lot of businesses that extend, you know, through so many industries and also, you know, B2B and B2C businesses. And, and, and what I really enjoyed is the people at Elton. Not just their competence, but I mean, they, like their commitment to this business that has been around for 59 years, it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, it's just about so much more than just business for them. And then we started to unpack this purpose that we, that we speak about. And by the way, this purpose is not something we've just launched or come up with. I think we've just verbalized it, I suppose. Now, that really came from, you know, I had a lot of sessions, coffee sessions, meeting with people one-on-one, -on -one, dealing with the leadership, uh, you know, and that then sort of, this purpose emerged of the fact that, that we've always used this combination of South African ingenuity, of technology, uh, of, of data and of artificial intelligence. And, and this informs our purpose. You know, what kind of really gets us up every day, which is to use technology to transform today into a simpler, safer, and smarter tomorrow. So I think it's, firstly, it's important to understand that our strategy is really grounded in our purpose and our purpose informs our mission. And our mission is to really be the trusted partner for our customers on their digital transformation journey. So everything we do, our, our strategy is grounded in that and it's grounded in customer obsession. Not customer focus, customer obsession. Because customer focus could well be to be customer focused, to make a deal and move on. Customer obsession is to make sure that we add value to the customer from sale to completion because it's a journey, right? We want to be on that journey with them. And, you know, we're really pleased to have customers that we've been in business with for 20 years, 30 years. So that really grounds our strategy. And our strategy is to become the leading platform and IT services business in our chosen markets. And that strategy really has three components onto drive growth. The first one is to grow revenue, and we want to grow revenue by being customer obsessed and also then allowing our customers to maximize their digital spend. The second one is to improve our operating leverage. Now, that's just some kind of good old-fashioned hard work and the basics 
of management. So really making sure that we manage our gross margins better and that we manage our cost base efficiently to you know, ultimately expand our operating margin and also get leverage as much as we have a federated model from econom economies of scale at a group level. Thirdly is then to drive transformative growth through the use of data and AI. And there's a couple of ways that I, that I look at that. I mean, firstly, to continue to expand the platform ecosystems that we've currently got and to get network effects from that. Secondly, is really to allocate our capital and look at are there acquisition opportunities for us in the businesses that we've got, you know, different markets, um, and to expand and enhance our service offerings to our customers. And as I said before, then really leveraging the use of data and AI to help our customers and ourselves drive uh, at that transformative growth agenda. And equally important is our ESG strategy. So everything that we achieve has to be sustainable. It has to be uh, positively impactful to the environment, to our people, the communities that we service, and we have to adhere to the highest levels of ethical leadership. Our strategy has three key enablers, which is efficiently allocating our capital, differentiating through collaborating, which is really how we show up with our customers. If we work together better as different opcos and bring the power of our technology solutions better to our customers, then, then we can really help them better on that digital transformation journey. And then lastly, is to continue to drive and grow our high performance culture. I mentioned earlier on about how really impressed I was with our people and with our culture. And look, all businesses, even if they are technology businesses, behind a platform sits people. And we really have to make sure that we attract, retain, and grow the best people in the, in the industry, because that's ultimately what's going to enable the execution of our strategy. We, we look at this strategy from a short, medium, and a longer term perspective. The, the short term we refer to as Horizon 1, which really informs our foundational growth strategy. Uh, the medium term we refer uh, Horizon 2, which we refer to as accelerated growth. And then the longer term, which is Horizon 3, which is transformative growth. But we've just come out of the foundational growth part and we're now about 12 weeks into the accelerated growth part. Now, I'm really delighted to say that the profit improvement strategies in NetStar and ASI are yielding early pleasing results, as you can see in us posting 739 million rand worth of operating income in our continued operations, which is a very pleasing 33% year-on-year increase. From a Horizon 2 accelerated growth perspective, we now really look at achieving our guidance, which we gave to the market, of achieving 1.1 billion rand of OI by 2026. And of course, in the longer term, through more efficiently allocating our capital and some of the stuff I spoke about under our transformative growth, what we want to continue to do is to deliver superior returns to our shareholders. I think there's probably six key things we've done uh, over the last 18 months. I mean, the first thing is to really establish this very clear strategy uh, and a strategy execution framework to be able to execute on that. The second thing is really launching the profit improvement strategies for NetStar uh, and for ASI. Then we went into every business and established clear target operating models and guidance for how to achieve that. Now, now that's great, but then the fourth thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the leadership team that are capable of really executing on, on these strategies. I think we've got a great brand of leadership between established leaders that have been in the business for a long time and some really credible industry experts that we bought in, you know, Carl Sneiman, our CFO, Grant Frazier, the MD of NetStar, Craig Stewart, who heads up our new Alton Digital Business, uh, Marissa Van Fielen, our Chief Marketing Officer, and most recently, Andy Mabasso, our Chief Technology Officer, who's really focusing on the data and AI component uh, you know, of our transformative growth strategy. The fifth thing that we then did is to really revitalize our brand uh, and set about you know, sort of driving this custom obsession and embedding it in every uh, aspect of our, of our organization. And lastly, we are actively pursuing the disposal of our non-core operations whilst really continuing to manage them for value until that time. Even though it's early days, it's really pleasing to see that some of these changes are paying off. As FY24 concludes, we've, we've been able to grow operating income from continued operations by 33%. Our headline earnings per share up 36% to 116 cents. And our cash from continuing operations are up by 25%. Through disciplined working capital management, improved cash generation and very stringent capital allocation and capital efficiency controls, we've managed to strengthen our balance sheet and have therefore decided to up our dividend payout from 40% of HAPS from continued operations to 50%, which means that we're able to declare a final dividend of 33 cents per share, which is up 74% year on year. Looking ahead, success for me would really be defined by Firstly, really seeing how this revitalized, fresh brand of ours 
has really driven revenue growth for us in the market and resonates with the market in general and obviously specifically with our, with our customers. I definitely want customer obsession to be embedded in, in every part. I want it to be part of the fiber of the organization. I mean, there's nothing I love more than customers telling us some of the great successes that we've achieved for them. You know, when they really tell us, listen, you've turned around this part of our business, you've improved our own customer service, and we love working with your people. Of course, it's also very important that we achieve through discipline strategy execution, uh, the 1.1 billion Rand operating income aspiration by 2026 uh, that we've set. I also want to make sure that we aspire to the highest levels of ethical leadership in the organization. And that it's not just an aspiration, but that we live those ethical leadership principles on a daily basis. I want Alton to be the place to work if you're in technology in South Africa. And talking about great places to work, I would really like to thank the over 4,000 great committed people that we have working for Alton for delivering on these results, for going the extra mile every day and being customer obsessed. Without you, we simply would not be able to achieve these results. I'd also really like to thank my leadership team who have been in the trenches with me day in and day out delivering on these, uh, on, on these results. And I really want to make sure that when people look at us, they feel that we are a reflection of Alton's principles of being purpose-driven, customer obsessed and growth focused. And lastly, our shareholders who have enabled us to put this capital to work to achieve these results. Uh, I can assure you that we take our responsibility of managing our shareholders' money and returning value for them exceptionally seriously and we're really grateful for that.